This video introduces higher order derivatives and notation. We've seen that f prime of x denotes the derivative of the function f of x, but f prime of x is also itself a function. So we can take its derivative. That would be f prime prime of x, which is usually written instead as f double prime of x. This is called the second derivative of f, and it means the derivative of the derivative. We can also talk about the third derivative, f triple prime of x, which might sometimes be written f to the 3 of x if you get tired of writing all those primes. And we can talk about the nth derivative, f parentheses n of x. The parentheses here are important to show that it's the nth derivative. The second, third, and nth derivative are referred to as higher order derivatives. There are many alternative notations for derivatives stemming from their tangled and contentious history in the 1600s. There are a few different notations for functions themselves. Most often we write a function as something like f of x, but we can also use the variable y to refer to the output of a function. When we're looking at the first derivative, we've been using the notation f prime of x, but you might also see y prime. This means the same thing. Another notation is df dx, known as Leibniz notation, after Leibniz. You might see something like d dx of f of x, and you might see dy dx, another version of Leibniz notation. Sometimes you'll also see a capital D used to refer to the derivative. If we're looking at the second derivative, We've seen the notation f double prime of x, y double prime is a similar notation, or we might write d dx of df dx, and the shorthand for that is d squared f dx squared. Similarly, we might write d squared y dx squared using y in the place of f for the function. There are similar notations for third derivatives. I'll jump ahead to nth derivatives. So that would be f to the n of x, or y to the n, d to the n of f dx to the n, or d to the n of y dx to the n. When using Leibniz notation, we want to emphasize that we're evaluating our derivative at a particular value of x. We might write something like at x equals 3 or at x equals a using a vertical line. For better or for worse, you'll need to become familiar with all of these alternative notations. That's all for this video on higher order derivatives and notation.